Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. I thought today I would start making the uh, cover for my Bumblebee junk journal. This is the fabric that I've chosen. It's some floral print as well as some beehive print. Um, you saw me make the strips. They look like this. This is just some strips of fabric that came in a package from Dollar Tree, which matches this perfectly. So I'm assuming Dollar Tree makes this fabric. Um, yeah, so these were the strips that I made to go along with this project, as well as this one right here. So I'm going to make my inside cover and my outside cover today. And I'm just going to use like some prefab stuff, right? So let me just show you what I mean. I have here just some cardboard. This is just regular standard corrugated cardboard from flaps of a box that I cut away and they measure six inches wide. Right, so both of these together measure six inches wide, and I'm just going to cut them down to um, about nine and a quarter inches to make my front and back cover of the junk journal. So let's do that. I'm going to mark it and cut it. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day, guys. It's just another fun day here in the craft room. So, yeah, hope y'all are doing fun things in your crafting spaces as well. So I just marked it at nine and a quarter inches. And I'm just going to take my craft knife to it and cut it down. I hope this can fit on my desk. I have so much stuff on my desk. It's like bumper to bumper traffic over here. All right, so I'm just going to grab my craft knife and my metal ruler line that up on the nine and a quarter inch mark that i made and oh that's too much knife hold on uh, there we go and i'm just going to cut this down now i'm always watching the blade never watching my fingers um, making sure that the blade goes where i want it to always safety first right okay so I'll close that and put that away and I don't need this anymore well I will for my spine so here is my front cover back cover and now we just need to decide like how wide do we want our spine to be so let's just see what's on the other side nothing it's pretty ratty actually but um, nothing on the other side so Let's just grab another piece of this card um, cardboard, and I need a much longer piece, so let's see. Okay, so I probably will probably make my spine. Let's do a, let's start with a three inch spine and see where we end up, right? I think three inches should be more than enough. But two and a half might be where we end up. So I'm just going to mark here at three, three, three. And let's see, nine. Oh, I won't even need that mark. Okay. So yeah. All right. So I'll cut this down to three inches. Right there. Whoa, see? It's a good thing I always I always close the blade. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so clumsy. Whoa. Guys, always watch your blade. Never watch your fingers. See how dangerous this thing can be? Okay, I think that's about where I need it on that side. And just so that I'm completely done with this process, I'm just going to cut this off right here. Okay. Close that up, put that away, and now we can work with this. So all I really did was cut this cardboard in half. 
because it was six and now it's three. And here is my front cover, back cover, my spine, which is a little long. And yeah, I think that will, I think that'll work. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is get my book binding tape out. So let me grab that. And we're going to leave about an eighth of an inch on both sides of the cardboard. So right there and right here and that's to give us enough room maybe even a quarter of an inch because this is pretty thick cardboard that'll give us enough room so that the book can open and close and um, yeah so let me grab my book guard this is heavy duty fabric book binding tape it looks like this if I can get it started right it looks like this it's um, yeah standard book binding tape it's in my it's in the description box down below if you guys are interested I'm just gonna put a little piece of tape just to hold it in place right about here okay And I am cutting it off because I need to remove this bottom section so because it's a little bit long. But you can see how the cover easily opens and closes and that's what we need. So I'm just going to cut away the excess tape around here. Okay, so now let's line this side back up. I'm just giving it a sliver, like a, not even a quarter, it's like five eighths of an inch maybe I don't know three eighths of an inch <laughs> who knows it's just barely enough that you can see between the books and it's hard for me to see so I'm gonna have to turn it around this way The most important thing is to make sure that your top and bottoms line up on both sides. So, I'm just going to cut away some tape and we'll figure it out. We'll just figure it out as we go. Okay, and now both sides are nice and loose. They'll open and close nicely, and now we can reinforce everything. I will also, yep, reinforce this side as well. And I'll also remove this bottom section. Let me see if I can cut a straight line. It doesn't really matter, guys. Like, we're going to cover all of this up. Just, just FYI. Don't panic. We're going to cover it all up. But my goal is to make sure that tops and bottoms are nicely aligned, even, Steven. Okay, so now let's reinforce this back side. And now is when I can go all the way around. So I'm just cutting it a little long so that I can wrap it around the other side. Okay. So there's that side and now let's do this other side over here and then we'll cover everything up with our fabric okay so that's nice nice and even everything's nice and secure Okay. Yeah, that's 
24. Okay, so let me grab my fabric. I think I'm going to do the floral print on the outside. And the bumblebee print on the inside. And I love this fabric so much. Like, I'm going to try to save some of it. So, I'm going to get this nice and almost perfect so I can have all of this left over and not waste too much of it because the inside is also going to get covered with um, fabric as well so I only need about an inch on the sides here okay I'll save that and I'll reposition my book the book cover and then I only need about an inch at the top as well so this will fold up like so so pretty okay so yeah I only need about an inch across the top here and I think I just used up the uh, I don't think it's gonna rip this way I just we'll see let's see oh yeah it does rip this way Sometimes the threads only go like in one direction and once you've ripped it one way, it doesn't want to rip the other way, so, but lucky, luckily it did. All right, so to cover this book, I'm just going to use, I'm going to use Fabrifix or Fabri-Tac, um, whatever's here on my desk, but I need to get something on here to re to stick this whole thing down so I'm just going to use some scotch create glue stick this is a multi-purpose permanent glue and it's safe for photos and um, it's perfect for my project so I'm just going to put some glue along here just to get it nice and tacky so that the fabric sticks to the cardboard while we're pulling and tugging on it around the book cover so yeah this is all I'm doing and you guys can do this too like I paid a dollar for this fabric at um, the dollar store or dollar 25 really and um, this is just some old cardboard that was from a box a delivery you know so you can do this it's not hard at all I'm just gonna line it back up where I have approximately an inch top and bottom and on this side and then set this down. And I'll flip it over and smooth everything out. Isn't that pretty? So, such a pretty fabric. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. So pretty. And I'm gonna use my brayer to make sure that my fabric is nice and stuck. Okay, I'm gonna flip it back over and we're going to do some cuts around the corners to get rid of the bulk. So it's just a little triangle right here. And a little triangle right here. And another one up here and down here and now I'm going to use Fabri-Tac to fold my corners over So glad I keep my glue upside down now because it works so much better than uh, it having its own free will to do whatever it wants on my desk. And then when I'm ready for it, it's not ready for me. So I just keep it flipped upside down, sitting in a washi. So it's just sitting on my desk like this. And it works, that works out for me right now. I'm going to do the bottom first, 
pulling it taut. And then I'll do the sides, pulling it taut. And this side. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for just a few and make sure that I, all my corners are covered up nicely. And if they're not, you can always just grab a book corner and pop it on there and you will never know that you made a boo-boo. Not that I did. I think I got mine like right on the edge right there, but if you do, there's a simple fix. You can just book corner everything. <laughs> just put book corners on it. So like right here, I have too much fabric on this side, so I'll just snip that away. Oh, you can't even see. Yeah, I'm just going to cut that off. Just a little sliver. That was too much. And I think I have one up here in this corner. That was too much. All right. So, yeah, our cover is looking really good. I mean, really good. <laughs> I'm surprised. Um, I'm always surprised when I do something right. Okay, so now for the inside, we're just going to lay some of this right on top of here. I'll mat it so that you can still see some of the floral print around the edges. But yeah, I think this will work right in here. So I'm going to cut it almost exact to the size that I need it. So therefore, there's no waste. There's no room for waste, people. We're saving all of it. So, I'm just going to line it up. I'll put a little dot on one end down here. And I'll put a little dot up here because I want it all in the project. Let's see. Okay. I know it's it's close it's so close I'm always cutting it close all right so I'll put a little dot right there and as for this side I'm just going to snip it right up the dot and tear it and as for this side I'm going to snip it right at my dot and tear it and then this will fit perfectly right in here just as we planned it's as if we planned this okay so this will all fit right in here I love the frayed edges um, I don't think I can get a frayed edge this one has been seam binded but I can probably fray some more of these edges over here yes I can all right, so I'll do that. All right, my battery's flashing at me, so I'm gonna go change that, and I'll be back with this glued down in two ticks. All right, well, I had it glued down, and then I decided I want to make this little band right here my closure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this down on the inside. See all my glue? I'm gonna glue this down on the inside of the cover and then put my um, honeycomb uh, fabric back on top of it. So I'll have to reapply the glue, but first I need to, um, let's see, I need to double this up. So this will be a little tricky. I need to get this down like so. I can take it to the sewing machine and just run a, a stitch through it, which will probably be easier. But no, I'm just going to use Fabrifix. Um, I'll stitch the edges afterwards, but right now for completing this cover, for the sake of that, I'm just going to uh, Fabrifix it or Fabri tack it. And I'm using the bumblebees as a guide because they seem to be in a straight line. 
So I'm just going to fold it over with one bumblebee exposed on this side. And then I'll fold it over this way to meet the inside like that. And that'll be a nice little a nice little ribbon to close this whole thing up. Oh gosh, I'm spilling fabric fix all over the desk. Hold on. Let me stop running my mouth, scoop up my glue, <laughs> and get this going. Glue waits for no one. It will dry on you or it'll spill on you. Yeah, so now I have glue all over my desk, but it's all good. It's all good, guys. It's just, it's just glue. Again, I'm just using that bumblebee as a guide on both sides to give me a straight line. And, um, yeah, that should work. That should do the trick. So anyway, let me just see what else is happening. Um, um, I'm also re-watching um, <laughs> I'm re-watching House of Cards. I don't know why. It's just something like, you know, sometimes you need like background noise when you're doing stuff. And um, yeah, that's what I've been I've been watching is uh, re-watching House of Cards from the beginning. Ugh. I remember when that first came out, it was riveting. <laughs> but um, after the last few years, I can totally see why people do what they do in politics. Um, yeah, so I'm watching that and let's see what else. Oh my God, I'm spilling my glue. Um, yeah, that's about really it. I've, um, still, my house is still under construction, in case you guys wondered. There's not a lot of contractors in and out right now, but I get the feeling that this is the calm before the storm, and they'll all be back very soon to make more noise. But yeah, right now, um, I'm still working on, uh, you know, construction and, um, or renovations, I should say. And, um, yeah, so it's happening just very slowly. Like I said, I just got back off, I uh, just got back from a vacation, a very well needed vacation. Um, oh, and thank you guys for all of your condolences, uh, yeah, I, if you don't know, or if you haven't been here for a while, um, I have, I did lose my, my little fur baby, and um, his name was Dolce, he was 15, so, yeah, I had to vacate the premises. <laughs> it's very difficult to uh, come home or um, just be home where your, your pets live, and they're not here. So, yeah, it's very, it's been a rough, rough road. So, yeah, I've just been, I had to go away for a little bit, but I'm back. I mean, I don't think you guys missed me too much. I pre-recorded a lot of stuff for y'all, so, um, yeah, I tried to make sure there was content while I was gone, so you guys, um, didn't miss me. <laughs> But I missed y'all. I did. I really did. I missed you guys. But yeah, I'm back in the craft room now. And I have all this glue to clean up. Oh, gosh. I'm just going to use it, right? Like, where, where else is it going to go? The garbage? I'm just going <laughs> to use it. Um, this is where I'm going to lay my ribbon. And I think I'm going to lay it this way. Let's get it even. I kind of want my bumblebees facing a certain way, like out, you know, like it's flying outwards. Yeah. 
Yep. So that'll go there. And then this side will go right over here. And now it's nice and even. Okay. So I did put like a ton of um, fabric, I mean, um, Scotch Create in the middle here to hold down my fabric. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all in here again. But I'll just do what I can, place it where it, where it can go, and then lay the fabric back on top of it. And I will place, whoops, I'll place some more fabric tack on top of this band. Ooh, it's running low. I might have to get a new bottle before this video is over. Let's see. Okay, it's playing. And it is running low, though. I will have to get a new bottle here pretty soon. Okay. And I will place my fabric back on top of here. I know this is like quiet time. Like I have to concentrate <laughs> on getting this down right where I need it. So, okay. And I want to say we're down. We are down. Nice. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. So, yeah. Just need to give it a couple of tugs and pushes and push it into place, force it into place. Okay. So here is our inside cover. Here's our outside cover. And here are our closures. So we did all of that today, guys. All right. Next, the only thing to do is stuff it with paper. So. I have to download a digital because I really like my porch prints bumblebee uh, journal so I'm probably going to download um, that digital I like the paper that's in it um, the little prints that are on there so I may use some of that in here but this is our cover we did it right it closes it opens and I really want it to dry so I'm not gonna mess with it too much but it opens and closes really well um, and uh yeah all right guys i'm gonna leave you right here i want you guys to have a crafty day right before you do that check out the links in the description box down below and if you like the content on this channel don't forget to check out the videos that i also leave on the end page of this video um, and also the playlist that i'll leave as well so i'm probably going to turn this into a playlist it'll be the bumblebee junk journal playlist so this is the first step we made our cover all right guys give this video a thumbs up Hit the bell for notifications after you subscribe to the channel thanks to each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel i do appreciate it and um yeah guys stay naturally curious and i'll talk to you in the next one bye